Yeah, let's go. I quit my job to dunk. Let's get it. So yeah, I quit my job for the dunk life. What does that mean? Did I quit my job to go dunking professionally? No. Dunk life to me is more than just dunking. It's living my life my through my passion, doing things I love all the time. That's what I'm shooting for and I'm on my way and this next chapter I'm super excited for. So technically I'm a full-time content creator but I am working with other people and working for other people. But all I'm doing is working on content, producing podcasts, making videos, all in the same brand that I love which is motivation, inspiration, and helping others and inspiring them to be their full selves and make the most out of their life. So that's what I've been doing and now even what I work on, even my work is doing that as well. So I'm so pumped and I can't wait to take you through this next chapter. Oh yeah, so I quit my job, I actually just left for today and it's not my last day but I have one more week and today I'm actually headed straight to LA. Let's get it, there's a Red Bull event. Can I make it? We'll see. If you wanna know a little bit more details about my new position, check out my podcast. And coming soon on my channel, I'm gonna make my part two video. I'm still in the works with that, but I am gonna be focusing on my dunk vlogs and I'm excited to get my content even better because now I'm free with my mind and my focus to be all about dunk life and I'm excited to make more and better content. Let's freaking get it. And one big takeaway from landing this position has been everything that I've ever done on my channel, every time I tried to push my content has led up to this moment. When I had the interview, when I had to show them what I can do, I was very confident because I was doing the podcast daily. Then when I went to set up a podcast, I knew what I was doing. I was efficient and I felt very confident that I could produce something that they would be happy with. So just as a tidbit, Go hard at what you want to do. Keep getting better at what you want to do because you never know when that opportunity is going to meet your preparation and that's the formula for luck. And I didn't make that up, but that's a really good one that I wanted to give to you. And just like Rob Deerdeck says, make your own luck. So prepare your ass off and keep working and that opportunity will arise and you got to be ready for it. So take it and be ready for it and let's go. All right, so hamstrings getting better. I had to jump earlier this week because the legend himself, the golden bear was there. So I had to jump a little bit, got some dope photos, but actually warming up. They just did a little session. I don't even know if I can say that, but I can't post it till after the face post it. So if you're seeing this, you're probably, it's already okay. So good. Now I'm going to try to dunk and get some epic photos from the one and only golden bear. Baby. My hamstring's feeling good. Not like great, but I got a massage yesterday too. I think there needs soft tissue work as well to break up some of the scar tissue in there. But yeah, I think today low rim is the perfect remedy for exactly what I need and also stay in shape. You get it. How much energy you got? It's all gone. How much do I have? Too much. Too much. Never too much. Yesterday I had a little. Yesterday I had low energy, but you surrender to it and you sleep and you get 10 hours and you're good. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. That's Walk fun. backwards for the sun. So the other thing I noticed is that I can work on is my technique. So when I come back healthy, I have really good technique because I never really do low rim. So this is my other chance to do my low rim technique so I can come back hanging off all plants, and tricks. I don't even want to do tricks. I just want to be good off the drip. I want you to do tricks today though. I know, I'll do a little bit. Okay. jump I'm talking about I can put some force behind it but very 
tiny penultimate and very tiny bending, so almost no load. I don't know where the load is, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel like I'm straining anything. That's what I'm gonna stick to. I gotta do my other dunks. Wait, 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 go. That's actually one of my favorite dunks. Like, I really, because I like how it's like stylish, like sideways, kind of backwards. That's one of my all time goals of a dunk. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Yes, don't let it hit the stinger. I like that car. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, actually, like, it looked like you practice it. Last time, what did I do? I shot eight and a half feet. Oh! Ooh. Watching your session together. Thank you. If you guys aren't, if you guys don't know about Florida and their love bugs, he's gone. When? Ah, all right. So now nine and a half feet. Just gonna work on my off the dribble. Two hands because they're atrocious. Just a little bit of technique work, a little bit of pushing to get my energy, drain myself, and that's it. Let's go. because I barely used any momentum, barely used the penultimate and just super springy, didn't even load up, still got up there. Count it, whatever. Yo, headed to LA tomorrow and I'll let you know how that goes. Super excited to get my hamstring healthy and get that technique work. Come back dunking on your entire family. Sorry in advance. For those new to the channel, this is what you can expect. Perfect. <laughs> and for those new to the channel, this is what you can expect. I can't do it. Steven, tell them who you are. I'm Show Steve. them who you are. All right, fine. For those new to the channel and the algorithm, you know, welcome to my new algorithm. This is what you can expect. Terrible. Yeah. Are you, are you gonna go to the Red Bull thing? I'm gonna see if I have time, but I probably not. <laughs> Yo, so I think I'm gonna have time now. I'm really gonna try to make it, so stay tuned. And there's a lot of people watching me right now. <laughs> All right, so I take off, let's go. Life. Ooh, that's the anthem right there. 
tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. 